Right, hi everybody. Uh, I'm making another video today basically because I, I had some pictures to put on my blog that show what I was doing yesterday in terms of making videos for the new class. But if you're not taking a new class, you might not be interested in that. I mean, you might be, but you might not be. So I just wanted to clarify what's happening with this. Um, if you remember the other day when I made that awful video where my brain had frozen, you'd be very pleased to hear that my brain has th thawed out now. I'm functioning as near to normal as is possible for me. So that's good. I've kind of had a, an awakening. I've seen the light. So now we've got three pockets on here, okay. This one here had a double row chain stitch around the bottom and I didn't like it so I took it off and I've put French knots around there. This one's got bullion knots around the top. They're all gonna have that. So this one has also got the French knots around and the bullion knots at the top. And this one is just appliqued down and I've started the French knots. Um, I may do a couple of them on camera in a second. So that still needs French knots all the way around and the bullion knots. And remember these are little pockets. We're a bit pocket obsessed in my house at the minute. Well, I am. My husband and my son aren't. I think my husband and my son are a pocket phobic now because I bang on about it so much. And then over here, don't forget the extem extremity of this is going to be about there. So I'm going to get another one of these over here with three petals and then hopefully another one of these and another one of these to balance it out. So that's what's going to happen on here. Um, I may, I still have the other one going on that I showed you yesterday, but I may put something else together later today as well um, in terms of I want to kind of make like a little bucket thing. I want to have a little bucket thing going on. So I might put something together for that this afternoon. Although the bucket part of it doesn't happen till the very end. Um, but I need to kind of figure out, put something together and figure out where the seams are going to be for the bucket in order to place my embroidery, if that makes any sense. But we'll see. I'll see how well my brain's working this afternoon. So, and it's horrible weather here. You wouldn't think it was nearly the end of May. It's freezing cold. It's absolutely pouring with rain. Very grey and dark outside. I've got my light on. I've got a massive, like, photographer's light that I put on now when I'm making videos. And in all honesty, I don't even know that that's bright enough. So if this isn't bright enough, it isn't me. Blame the weather. Um, I'd love to know which government department we complain to about the weather. Um, right, so this is already threaded because um, I was doing this a few minutes ago just to get a feel of some embroidery for today. It's early in the morning, but sometimes I like to just do a couple of stitches before I start everything else just to reacquaint myself with thread, I suppose. So if I just do a couple of little French knots here and then I'll leave it at that um, because it's a brief video. I wanted it to be a brief video, not like a massive 12 part series that goes on and on and on. And to be honest with you, I'm a bit talked out because yesterday when I was doing those videos for class, I do talk a lot. If you've never done one of my classes, just ask somebody who has, they can confirm that if there's a gold medal in the Olympics for talking, I'd be winning it for England. And yet that's a contradiction because in real life, I'm quite a quiet person. I like to be quiet. But then you can't make instructional videos without talking, can you? I suppose I could do it all in mime. That would be uh, something to consider. Now it's quite thick here what I'm stitching through because I'm stitching through this pink fabric and I'm stitching through pleated vintage fabric as well. So, you know, I'm struggling a bit sometimes to get my needle through and to make it look seamless. Um, but that's the reason why this is a very thick seam that I'm stitching into here. Right, so I'll do one more because I don't think I've got enough thread to do any more than one anyway. And then I'll fasten off. And then that will be it for today. You can go about your business safe in the knowledge that you're not going to have to listen to me anymore. Right, so if I do that last one and then I just fasten it off at the back. I'm going to just run it through a couple of times. Sometimes I knot it, sometimes I do this. It doesn't... There isn't even really a rhyme or reason to why I choose which one. I don't want to see the threads come off my needle. Now, if I was doing this on my knee with no camera, this kind of thing doesn't happen. But I do find that when I'm doing something on camera, I'm getting a needle with a bigger eye. When I do something on camera, if anything can not go wrong, 
But if there's anything to interrupt the smoothness of what I'm doing, it'll happen when I'm doing it on camera. So there. So that's that fastened off now. So that's your uh, entertainment for the day. I feel sorry for you if that's the only entertainment you're going to get today. So go forth and stitch and I will see you tomorrow.